together with Bianca, lovely lady who is an owner of uh, Water Reginald, the oldest leather merchant in London, gonna lead us through the leathers which we use in a garment construction, which leathers are right to use in a garment construction and what type of leathers we have. We have lots of different types of leather and different types of finishes. Yes. Um, so, for example, um, if you were looking at a pure aniline leather, a pure aniline leather is something like this yes, one. That's beautiful, um, yeah. It doesn't have a top finish over it. So what happens is um, the skins are put into the drum and they're dyed. Um, a lot of our artisan so tanneries so um, actually use very old methods of, of even creating the recipes for the dyes. So they have these old recipe wow. books um, and you know the dyes uh, are all noted down. It's a little bit of this and a little bit of that to create the kind of uh, colour within the base of, of what you're going to get. What happens with that, because it's, because it's hat by hand, um, not only do you have the discrepancy that every skin is different because every skin has come from a different animal, um, each batch is going to be a little bit different, because it's all done by hand, you're always going to have a little bit of colour variation when those yes. batches come in. Yeah. Um, so it becomes quite difficult if, for example, you've, uh, you've used a few skins, you've made a beautiful jacket, you have a, a, a question from a customer, they want the same thing, you come back, you come and get the same, and the colour's just a little bit off. It's gonna be a bit off. It's a yeah. little bit off because six months has passed or a year has passed, and that batch that you bought your first lot of leather from from your jacket is an exactly. error. Yeah. And it's a little bit different. And it's it's really important to bear in mind we're working with a natural material. Yeah, exactly. We're not working with um with the fabric. It's not a metrage and it's not woven when you can exactly. actually exactly. you know completely control the process. Exactly. So for that there has to be a little bit of acceptance about yeah. the tolerance of, of working yeah. with a natural product. So for our viewers it's important to bear in mind that if you order aniline letters they so much natural produced that you have to bear in mind that the skin's gonna differ from even one to another because it's a every skin is different animal and basically have its own diet and probably walk somewhere through the bushes and get it can be like that. scars and stuff 100%. and that's not always gonna be removed in the tanning process exactly so also that skin gonna take the dyes differently and it's hand dyed as you said so well they're dyed well, obviously they dye with machine but the yeah yeah, yeah, but I mean, yeah, exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so its intensity can be different sometimes even in the same batch isn't it yeah it can do that because obviously each skin takes the dye different well, i would suggest when you're buying uh, skins like that bear in mind that you can put skins against each other and choose the darker colors yeah the dark, darker shade for one part of your garment and the lighter for the other your decision if that is a front or back or sleeves but make them together because if you're not gonna pre-select that before cutting of your garment uh, basically what's going to happen you're going to have a chessboard exactly and that's the thing I mean obviously what you want to be doing is making sure that you know within that panel or if you're paneling on, on a certain part of the garment that the colour is actually going to match and, and yeah, exactly. before you even cut it you've got to make sure that that is going to work out exactly. and it doesn't mean that the, the colour that's off to what you've chosen is going to be wasted you just can see no it. yes exactly facing it can it can be in a side panel yeah that's or not often the yeah on the, on the corner facings very often yeah exactly. and you can but very often that happens with suede we're gonna talk about suede later but when i cut letters i'm always pre-selecting them like that i basically fold them this way as we've got them tied here and then i'm gonna go to the daylight because that's important that you've got daylight and then I'm gonna see the sheen difference between them, yeah? And of course, like, if you've got different finishes, that doesn't need to happen, but we're talking about naturally treated yes, um, exactly. letters. Exactly. That would be highly recommended, always check. Even when you're buying, it doesn't mean that you have to have always exactly the same colors, like, identical. It's just being aware, okay, if I'm gonna have two old skins, a bit lighter color to the rest of my batch, I can use that lighter color in different parts of my um, go on, yeah. Exactly, exactly. When we're looking at the aniline leather, um, obviously we've established it's been dyed in the drum and then what happens is it doesn't have any kind of coating to finish it off. It's got nothing over the top. So it makes the skins quite porous. Um, it gives it a really beautiful buttery touch. Which you, yeah, it's it's not, like silk. It's literally like silk. This is a lovely. Japanese hype, this isn't it? This is a Japanese plonge hype. Plonge also is another way of saying aniline because it's plonge like... It's, oh, right. You know, like oh, I didn't know that. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, so... What happens with that, it will make the most beautiful drapey garment, but yeah. 
you go out or you put some hand cream on your hand and then you know you have to touch, touch yourself, your, touch yourself. Um, or even forehead yeah like anything. if you grease from Absolutely. the whole forehead Absolutely. you know yeah. over time that that uh, you know the grease within um, on us then transfers so you know you have to just be aware of what you're using and the limitations of that so yes it can look beautiful but you just have to be very aware about things like that yeah, as well yeah especially that one white, white one white. would get it isn't absolutely. it absolutely but because it's um completely naked uh it means that if you wanted to laser print or screen print um it's gonna take would you reckon that normal not normal but leather paint there is this angelis paint and you can hand you can paint it like hand paint. decorative like really like oil painting but actually on leather yeah definitely that one will take nicely yeah really. you can take it yeah. obviously we always recommend taking a cutting and making a test oh, always test um, yeah. and you know we're, we're more than happy to we'll always send off cuttings whether for color or for touch oh yeah before people go ahead and buy if they're not able to come in here and actually look yeah. it's very important to, to actually of course make a test yes, and likewise yes. even for the stitching you know to yeah, make sure yeah. that your machine's no. going to go through um, so exactly. So, so yeah, it's always good to have a piece of um, material first to try, whatever you do to try your samples yes, or whatever your intent to the project. Yeah? Exactly. Thank you, but Bianca, for sharing your amazing knowledge about the letters you've got in your warehouse, and we welcome everybody to come to Water Regional in London. Got amazing news for our viewers. Yes, yes. anyone that wants to contact us uh, to buy some leathers, we're offering a five percent discount. If you quote YT21, when you're ordering, you can do that through um, the website, waterreginald.com. You can email us at info at waterreginald.com. Uh, we're on Instagram and all the socials. Um, so any way that you want to contact us, you're welcome. And we're more than happy to send out cuttings um, and give you any further information that you might want to know. Uh, yeah, Bianca is lovely to talk to. She's very passionate. So yeah, ask, fire up the questions and ask about that discount code and <laughs> I'm gonna give you all details under the video and thank you so much for watching